Hello and welcome to Daily Reflection with Anil Rwana. Today is the 28th of December 2020. We're going to reflect on Matthew 2, 13 to 18. Listen. Now after they had left, an angel of the Lord appeared to Joseph in a dream and said, Get up, take the child and his mother, and flee to Egypt, and remain there until I tell you. For Herod is about to search for the child to destroy him. Then Joseph got up, took the child and his mother by night, and went to Egypt, and remained there until the death of Herod. This was to fulfill what had been spoken by the Lord through the prophet, Out of Egypt I have called my son. When Herod saw that he had been tricked by the wise men, he was infuriated, and he sent and killed all the children in and around Bethlehem who were two years old or under, according to the time that he had learned from the wise men. Then was fulfilled what had been spoken through the prophet Jeremiah. A voice was heard in Rama, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. The Gospel of the Lord. A voice was heard in Rama, wailing and loud lamentation, Rachel weeping for her children. She refused to be consoled because they are no more. Jeremiah's prophecy came to pass 2,000 years ago when a power-crazy ruler slaughtered hundreds of male children because he believed Jesus would grow up to overthrow his kingdom. Today, Rachel continues to weep. So who is Rachel and why does she weep? Rachel was the wife of Old Testament patriarch Jacob. After her first child, she didn't conceive for the longest time. When she finally did, it was only to die giving birth to Benjamin. She was buried at Ramah near Bethlehem. A few years later, during the Jewish people's deportation to Babylon by King Nebuchadnezzar, many of the Israelites were detained at Ramah. Those too old or too weak to make the journey to Babylon were killed. Rachel, a kind of mother figure in the Old Testament, is said to have raised her head from her tomb and lamented the slaughter of the people. Many years later, in the story we read today, Rachel would mourn the slaughter of some more innocents who were killed by King Herod. But Rachel continues to weep today even more bitterly because innocents continue to be slaughtered in greater numbers than ever before in human history through the abortion of babies in the wombs of their mothers. The numbers are so huge, they boggle comprehension. More than 1.5 billion babies have been aborted in the last 50 years. And this year, just this year, over 40 million babies have been murdered. We find the number of people who die in wars, terrorist attacks, and natural calamities horrifying. Yet we don't seem to be affected by the vast number of babies being put to death. Why? Partly because we have been led to believe that what is growing within the mother's womb is not human life. And partly because we have become so calloused by sin, taking life doesn't seem to be an important thing anymore. And we are taking life. We had recorded a video a few years ago that will shed more light on the subject. Please watch it and share it. It could save somebody's life. God bless you.